This channel is made possible by viewers like you. My viewers, subscribers, and patrons greatly help to keep this channel going. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for all of you. Please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any uploads. And if you'd like to go the extra mile, please check out my Patreon page. For just a dollar a month, you'll get access to what I'm working on, previews of upcoming content, and even early videos, along with other tier options for those that are interested. Thank you, and now on to the video. Capcom has been having a great set of years with their Resident Evil titles. We see pretty much each one being a big hit, whether it be a remake of an older beloved game, or something that is completely new like a sequel with Resident Evil 8. I love the series and very much look forward to each new entry. It's also a series that kind of has something for everyone. That being said, for those that really long for something, like the very first few Resident Evil games, might miss a lot of those days with the fixed camera angles along with all the other designs. Now I have just started playing a new indie that is heavily inspired by Resident Evil, especially the early entries with a mix of 4 too, to create a new promising title that honestly I have been enjoying, and I think it's even made by a solo developer as well, making it even more impressive. One thing is certain, is how the game does understand its inspirations and the games that it lifts from. Plus fusing Resident Evil with World War 1 is a mixture that is so interesting that it can really pique the interest for this game. The concept is really inviting, that war has so much potential for for a great horror game. Then you mix that with the Resident Evil design, and you might have something special. Conscript is pretty cool. As full disclosure, this game was provided to me from the game service 2 Games. Please check the affiliate link found in the pinned comment and description, and feel free to use the discount code as they have many PC games available for sale and are also discounted as well. Now back to Conscript. Something I always really enjoy when playing older games is the element of that hands-off approach. Now sure, the game might give you a cool tutorial or provide you with the basic mechanics to get the player up to speed, but many of those games back in the day would not even do that. If you wanted some training, you either needed to play the game and learn, or sometimes just read the manual to try and get a leg up on everything. Learning by doing is one that can cause frustration, but it's also one that keeps things engaging. It's that neat figure it out, try to put two and two together. Now, sure, when something is a bit too obscure, that is where it can begin to lose the player a bit, especially if the game doesn't provide the proper amount of clues to figure it out. But my point with this is that I miss the figuring it out type of stuff. I miss the days of getting lost, with that feeling of, am I going in the right direction? Or maybe I'm missing something that I passed by. I got that feeling as I was playing Conscript. Following the tutorial, it feels like the game very much lets any of the guidance provided there before is now gone and the player is on their own. Where do I go? What do I need to grab? These are some of the questions I was asking myself to try and to figure out how to proceed. Something these Resident Evil titles do a good job with is the exploration, and even eventually getting to know your location, almost like it becomes a character within itself. For Conscript, it checks a lot of those expected boxes, and at least so far, shows that it's both a fan of those games, while also being able to implement them in a way that shows their understanding of those elements too. For example, when you have a fixed inventory in those games, and need to make those choices on what to bring with you, and how many slots to keep open to grab more stuff. I was already hitting points where I did not give myself enough open slots so that I could grab more supplies. I had to make a special trip to go back for them. This is where you decide, should I be more conservative and take more ammo and healing supplies with you, or do you leave these slots open to grab more stuff? Plus, this could lead to a situation where you wished you had those very same supplies you decided to leave behind. Choices matter in survival horror games, and I found that to be true here as well. Which way should I go? What should I bring, or even not bring with me? This was something I thought about every time I entered a safe room. And safe rooms do give you that sense of relief, but at the same time, it also sort of restarts the game where you need to now consider what to do next. How are you going to step out of that door? Which ways are you going to go? What are you going to bring with you? If you miss having those experiences and asking those questions, then Conscript is something you might want to look into. Just because the angle of the action is from a bird's eye perspective, the horror is just as strong and intense, while also giving you that sense of dread. Something else to note too is that there are some options if you want a true classic survival horror experience, or something with some more modern touches like Infinite Save, and even being able to have some checkpoints too. The choice is up to the player, and allows for maybe newcomers to dip their toe if they don't want to fully jump in right away. The combat very much reminds me of the older titles, 
It's like it has that clunky nature to it, and I think some of this was on purpose. You have all manner of guns and melee weapons to try and defeat your foes. Guns sound decent, and I love hearing the shell casing hit the floor. A nice touch is the option to be able to run from your enemies. This factors into the questions you might be asking yourself, and maybe even pivoting when you enter a new room or area. Should you fight those enemies? The use of the rats can cause some who have played older Resident Evil titles, and think of them like the Crimson Heads, as you'll have new enemies to contend with as a result of killing someone. It all comes back to choice and then consequence with some of it. Though to really point out too, the rats do cause a lot of frustration within the game. They can feel just cheap, and it's something that needs further refinement too. Something else this game does well, that it factors in its understanding of how you can feel vulnerable and then have those moments of empowerment, especially when you have ammo for some of your guns and the better weapons. Those moments are so satisfying as you can tip the scales in your direction. Your shovel is your friend early on. It has a durability bar, but it can make short work of some enemies, while also saving on some ammo. The atmosphere in this title is impressive. The use of minimal music at times, screaming allies or even enemies in gunfire can create a haunting experience. The same can be said when it's even quieter, as it helps to keep that constant tension. Just because the camera is pulled back, the intimate feeling that you would want from a survival horror title is still present. I was pulled in and absorbed by this disturbing place. Plus, the marriage between World War I and Resident Evil design works well, so much so that it makes you wonder why this wasn't done before. One thing I want to mention is that I was getting a lot of button input issues while playing the game with a controller, and I didn't really experience this with another game. My best guess is that the game did not like my Xbox controller, or this was some type of glitch. It was annoying, and I honestly could not figure out how to fully fix it, especially since it never occurred in another game for me. If you had a similar issue, let me know and what you did to maybe fix it. Conscript is a fun game, and one that makes me want even more indies to take on that classic Resident Evil design. I love how the visuals in this even go for something more old school, like it would look at home on the PlayStation. Something I always liked about old PlayStation titles is how a lot of them had a roughness to their look. A lot of it was coming from what they could do with the tech at the time, but in many cases it would offer a layer of grit to the experience, even if that wasn't the intended effect. It was present and most certainly added to it. You saw it with titles like Resident Evil, MGS, and siphon filter. I feel like this developer understood that and was able to implement that well for this game. I am continually surprised and impressed by this space. You never really know what you're going to find with the indies. I feel like one day another game comes out and it successfully puts their own spin on another beloved title, or even something completely original. While I have not finished this title yet, it is one that I'm very much enjoying, and I really like what they're able to do here with it. Again, I want to thank Two Games for providing me with a code, and if you're interested in this game or other PC titles, feel free to use my coupon code in the pinned comment and description, as it all helps the channel. Have you played Conscript? If so, what are your thoughts on it? Let me know in the comments down below. If you're interested in being notified of new videos, please hit the subscribe button and bell. And if you'd like to support the channel and get early access to content, please check out my Patreon. All of the links will be at the end of this video and within the description. And thank you very much for watching.